We're back. Assuming that your boss is going to pry a few dollars out of his wallet, let's show you how to get the most shaft alignment value for his budget with the S660 Wireless Shaft Alignment System, the most powerful entry-level system on the market. So let's get started. First, we'll start with the hardware. Simply place each bracket on the shaft and wrap the chain around the outside diameter, sliding a link on the pin and tightening the knob. Notice that the extra chain can be folded up using the magnetic tip to help protect the equipment. Next, slide the laser in the target on the posts and tighten the thumb screws to clamp the heads firmly in place, while making sure to adjust the laser lines so they line up with the center line on the target and are centered in the windows. The laser is now pre-aligned to the target and is ready to take data. Now let's boot up the software by tapping on the couple six icon on the Windows desktop. Notice in the lower right corner of the opening screen, the software automatically scanning the COM ports to locate the stealth target. Once connected, the main screen opens and we can see the status bar that shows the Bluetooth signal strength, target serial number, excess vibration detector, remaining target battery life, and ambient light detector. To start a project, click on the project manager icon in the main menu. Then click on the Create New Machine icon and enter the machine name as well as the company name, address, and any notes for the project. This creates a standard Windows folder for the machine and saves an emailable project file with a date and timestamp. This helps organize your machines and keeps track of alignment history. Now from the Couple 6 main menu, click on the Step 1 icon to pull up the dimensions screen. Select the coupling and machine types and begin measuring. To enter each dimension, press and hold the entry box to bring up the keypad. Type in the dimension and hit enter. Continue to measure and enter all four dimensions to an accuracy of a quarter of an inch, or six millimeters. Then select the machine's RPM to set our two-tier color-coded alignment tolerances and hit the next button to go to step two, laser alignment. One of the great features of the S660's dual fan technology and its 20 millimeter PSD is that you could start taking alignment data without having to do a pre or rough alignment of the motor just so the laser can take data, a common problem with our competitors over under technology. It also means you can skip the rough alignment process for new motor installations and start using the S660 right from the beginning. This saves a lot of time. By first having aligned the lasers to the target center line, you should be ready to go. If not, an arrow will tell you whether to move the target up or down the posts and the vertical offset values and laser line graphics update as you move the target. When the arrow turns yellow, green, or disappears, you are centered on the PSD and ready to go to step three. One of the most important aspects of good alignment is making sure the motor's feet are parallel to its base. Commonly called softfoot, checking for softfoot can save you hours and hours of work. You will notice on the screen there are four data taking areas, each representing one foot. To get started, make sure all four bolts are tight and then click the record button which records the data for foot number one. Loosen the bolt and click record again. If the foot movement is within tolerance, then the display will turn green. If not, it will turn red. Notice couple six reminds you to tighten the foot and shows that foot two is ready to take data. Continue this process for all four feet, following the on-screen instructions. Couple six will then identify the foot with the biggest change in alignment value, and if out of tolerance, recommend the shim to fix it. All you need to do is add the shim, tighten the bolt, and retake the data to confirm the soft foot has been fixed. Now let's click next to go to step four and start taking alignment data. To determine the results in any shaft alignment application, it is necessary to rotate the shafts and record data to remove bracket mounting errors. The S660 offers the most versatile data taking method of all entry level shaft alignment systems, which is auto clock. To take data, just rotate the shafts to any of the eight clock positions in any order. You can even skip points. An arrow will tell you when the target is in the data taking zone and ready to record a point. So just hit the record button and a color coded dot will appear in the data indicator ring so you know what point has been recorded. Red means not enough data, blue means good, light blue is better, and green is the best. Couple six only needs three points to calculate the alignment results, although we recommend recording more points to increase data accuracy and repeatability. To calculate the results, hit the done button to open a pop-up showing the recorded alignment data and click accept to save the values in the repeatability table. To see if the alignment data is in tolerance, tap on the set of data and click the results button to open the measurement results screen, which shows the data with the tolerances applied from step one. Green means the results are excellent, yellow means they're acceptable, red means they're out of tolerance. If the alignment is out of tolerance, close the results pop-up and click on the shim icon to automatically save the data and open step five, live move screen. 
To make alignments amazingly easy, Couple 6's Step 5 Live Move screen offers automatically updating motor graphics and live data values in two different formats, gap offset or angle offset. A simple click of the format icon toggles between the views. For those who like to see the alignment at the coupling, Step 5 also allows the user to zoom into the coupling by selecting the coupling zoom icon in the view menu. To zoom out, just re-click the zoom icon and the motor view will reappear. Another great feature in Couple 6 is our Flip It feature, where you can flip the motor image and foot values if you find yourself on the wrong side of the machine. No more using the display box upside down. At the top of the screen, Step 5 shows the gap and offset values for either the vertical or horizontal alignment planes, both continuously updating with each move of the motor. At the bottom of the screen, Couple 6 shows the calculated shim and move values, which also update continuously. Arrows are also used to indicate whether to add or subtract shims and which way to move the motor. To align the motor, first you add the shim. Notice how the vertical gap offset values and the motor image update as you insert the shim. After that, rotate to 3 o'clock or 9 o'clock, and Couple 6 automatically switches to the horizontal alignment plane without having to retake data. Notice as we rotate the shafts, an indicator icon tells you the shaft rotation position. The amount you need to move the motor is shown as foot values at the bottom of the screen. Move the motor in the direction as shown by the arrows until the color-coded display turns either yellow or green. Notice when the alignment values are green, the bolts are installed on the feet to indicate the alignment is completed. Now it's important to verify the alignment, so just hit the Remeasure button and Couple 6 automatically takes you back to Step 4. Take another set of data as shown before and when you're done, click the Results button and verify that all the values are in tolerance. If so, we're ready to print the report. The data is automatically saved, so click the Home button to go to the main menu and then click on the Print icon. Select the sections of the report to include and whether to print to paper or PDF for emailing. You can also preview the report before printing. So with all this value, maybe you don't need a pry bar after all. Visit HaymarLaser.com to find a distributor near you. And make sure to check back on our YouTube channel to see more videos on the advanced features of our Couple 6 software and our other shaft alignment products.